Welcome back, YouTube. This is my next video in my series of videos about building a computer out of transistors. So this time I built two four-bit registers. Um, and I did some more professional drawings too, so check it out. Okay, as you can see, I got here um, two four-bit registers. And I built them with like, I just put like a, uh, one microfarad cap here and a resistor, 2.2K, I believe that is, 2. Yeah, 2.2K, and a, and a white one microfarad cap just to simulate, simulate like the a rising edge of the clock pulse, right? This little uh, push button here to simulate the clock pulse. Anyhow, you can see what I built was just like data latches. I built four data latches so that I have, and I have a clock pulse and I have um, a data input. And I ran each one of these four to a switch, to a dip switch, and my clock pulse goes to each one of the four. So I can input four bits at one time here. And then I did the same with this. I was going to build like an eight bit register and then have a clock pulse that did all eight. Um, so then I could have like an eight bit from my memory module get stored into here. But then I thought, uh, let me just do the four bits first because I could once I I got after this I got to figure out how to get this onto a data bus so that I can somehow connect it to my calculator and my eight bits of RAM that I made. So I need a, a basically a a data bus for these, and then I guess my RAM already has an address bus. So I'm not sure how this all connects together. Um, so anyhow, that's that's what I built this so far. Um, I built these two four-bit registers so that hopefully I can take four bits from my memory, put it into each of these registers, then perform a math calculation with my calculator and then store it back in my memory or somewhere or, or just put it to an output. That'd be a pretty good project to get complete through this. So my next step would be figuring out um, Oh, yeah, 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 a bus, figuring out a way to connect this all to a bus. Anyhow, uh, I might get sidetracked because I'm really interested in getting that seven segment display working. So I can, I'll put this to a seven segment display also. You know, my final output would be cool if it was to, uh, you know, a couple of seven segment displays. Okay, so yeah, you can see this is, um, I did this on this, I don't know how to pronounce it, KiCad. ECAD, KiCAD, whatever, little program. So um, I wasn't able to figure out how to like save each drawing. So I just printed the drawing and then I rearranged it to the next drawing and printed that one. And so I don't, I don't like have it saved anywhere, which would be nice to do. But anyhow, you can see here's my data latch. I, I printed the uh, logic gate equivalent so that it's easier to see what, what, what is here. And then, you know, these are my actual transistors that I installed. And so that's what I built here. I built eight of those data latches. And then I'll just show you some other ones that I drew. I drew a binary decoder. Here's the uh, logic gate equivalent. Um, and here is the actual transistor level, what I actually built, binary decoder. What else do I got here? A full ladder. There's my full ladder that I built a couple of those with a logic table. Um, I did not build this with, I didn't put the um, logic gate equivalent on here. Some of them I forgot to do that. Here is an XOR gate with a logic table. Here's a NOR gate with its logic table. Uh, OR gate. AND gate. MAND gate. Um, this was before I figured out how to increase the font. <laughs> MAND gate. 
um, inverter. And a buffer. Yeah, so pretty cool, right? So I'm gonna uh, I want to do some more of these. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'll probably do. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to do like my memory module. See, here's what I got so far. You know, not including my two registers, but I got uh, you know my memory module. I got my uh, calculator here. Here's my clock, and that's just going to a flip flop. Um, this was this was my uh, multiplexer. This was my multiplexer here. Um, this is where I was trying to build that seven segment display, but uh, it wasn't working out. So I think I, you know I was trying to just use regular LEDs. So I think I'm going to remove all this, and I'm going to do it separately. I'm going to try to build a seven segment display driver. And I know that, um, you should have like a BCD decoder, but that, I'm going to try to just do a seven segment display with uh, binary. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. But I need to, uh, I think I'm going to put an actual seven segment display instead of trying this craziness. Just minimize one step so I can get it working. But anyhow, let's just see my. Uh, what I got going here. So I got my two registers, turn the power on. And we're starting up with some random numbers on here. So let me hit my clock. I'm at zero here on this one. Hit my clock and we're at zero. Hit my clock on this one. And we're at zero. And so they both work exactly the same. I, I didn't have another four position dip switch, so I just used two twos there. But Two twos. <laughs> so let's just go uh, one zero one zero. Cycle the clock, and we get one zero one zero. All right. So I can put any number I want into this register. Zero one one zero. Zero one one zero. Right. And the same thing here. They they both work exactly the same. Uh, no. Bing, bang. So let's throw another one up here. Oh, do it without destroying the thing. Hard to do while looking through the lens of the camera. Oh man, all kinds of destruction going on. Mm, yeah, so one zero one one. Anyhow, so that's how those are my two bit, uh, my two four bit registers. Um, so anyhow, stay tuned. Um, we'll see where it goes from here. I might work on that seven segment display driver, see if I can get that, at least get a seven segment display working. I just think it'd be cool to convert this four bit number, you know, display it on a seven segment display. So I think I might work on that next. And then I'm going to look into, um, you know, how to connect all this together with the bus. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Uh, also, hit me up in the comments if anybody has any ideas or suggestions for where to go from here. All right. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.